Okay, hello guys, welcome to Up Close, your number one entertainment show in GH, Oli on Max TV, Sports Entertainment, and more. My name is Marshall. Follow me on all social media or Hinba Marshall. Follow Max TV on all social media at Max TV GH. Send your questions and then we will read it right here for you. Okay, so today I have a legend in the building. Tonight is gonna be a legendary night because the one in the studio is gonna talk about a whole lot of things. I'm, I know the new trending generation don't know much today he's gonna say it more today yeah, it's crazy man trust me we are gonna enjoy the show i know you're gonna enjoy it. i'm also gonna enjoy it today it's gonna be crazy we are gonna talk about his music videos his top five videos his trending stories a whole lot trust me a whole lot stay tuned don't go nowhere you see how dope fly sexy i'm looking right now yeah, if you want to look good like I'm doing, all you have to do is pick up a phone, call 0244-020-700. Talk to Don Elijah, and then he will hold you down. All right, so stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. When I come back, me and my guests will chit-chat. I'll be right back. Okay, so if you're just tuning in, you are watching Up Close. And as I said earlier today, I have a legend in the building. And tonight is gonna be a legendary night because we are going to talk about stories from back in the days till now. And homeboy is still trending. Big bro. What's up, man? Welcome to Up Close, man. Thank you, my brother. How you Yo, doing? Yo, man, I'm good, man. You're looking dope. You refuse to grow. What's That's the right. secret? Prayer. Prayer. A lot of prayer, man, and healthy food. Where was Prince Bright? How Prince did you Bright. get into the music? At a point, I remember growing up, um, I used to bake bread for a living. Oh. Yeah, I was going to school baking bread. Um, I was a baker, basically. Wow. Um, my brother Fofo and I would bake bread, take it out to the streets, sell it, make some money, buy some nice clothes. Shout out to Ayowa Mami. You know, um, she inspired <laughs> the kinky music. Because yeah. um, at a point in time when we were hungry, my brothers and I would just go out there and just, you know, hang with Ayowa. Ayowa was going to serve us with, you know, KK and Fish and you know what I mean. So yeah. that really inspired the whole movement of the yeah. first song that we put out, Comic Kenna, you That's know. Good. Before you guys released the Comi song, right? How did you guys meet? Did you just meet at the show or you guys decided to create a group or they were your friends you grew up with? How was the journey like for you when you guys made the book back? Okay, so uh, my uncle and like Adi thought I had a talent and wanted to inspire me to be greater than who I thought I would ever be. So he set up a freestyle session with me and one huge dude, YZ, I never forget this. And it was in an uncompleted building in um, our family house in Kokomlemle, the Adi family house. So after the battle, um, I think he won because he was okay. really good. You know what yeah. I mean? So I went back to some old tapes, you know what I mean? Naughty by Nature, you know, um, Far Side. I went back to the 90s hip hop. Mm. And I went through all that to make sure that I'm well equipped to really battle this dude the next time we met. And I did just that. Next time we met, I just floored him, you know what I mean? Whoa. And that was the genesis of my whole hip hop, you know, transition into music and everything. Mm. And then, Shoe 10 heard about me. After shooting head, I was okay, mm -hmm. you know. We got together, freestyled a bit, decided to form a group. You okay. know what I mean? We came up with a funny name. I think it was Black Tribe or whatever. So Shootown was like, yo, let's do this, man. We've been relegated for a while, so why not? This is the name I think we could go with, Book Back. And I was like, yeah, let's go with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It sounded funky. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? See, this, see, I'm from the old school, so I'm saying funky. <laughs> Nobody says that. Um, we had an entertainment show at our school, Accra Technical Training Center. Shout out to all Canadians if you're watching me. Um, Shooting and I placed second, Ronnie's group came first. Okay. So I spoke to Shooting and I'm like, let's go grab that dude because I think he's going he gonna to put some fire in our game. Yeah. And then after that, we got together um, as book back, the three okay. of us. Shut down every show we get on. Straight. You know, we made sure we come in with something crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? And God blessed me with a, you know, va I mean, the voice, voice to be yeah. able to put myself out there. So it was it was a beautiful compliment we mm -hmm. gave each other on the record. You mm -hmm. know, so we we started enjoying fame at, at a younger age. Yeah, I can you know see what I'm saying? Like so Michael from, Jackson. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stuff like that, if you could say. 
but there was no money then, so we had to go through the hustle. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We really had to go through the hustle, and God gave us Abib, who happened yeah. to be my classmate from high school. Okay. You know what I mean? So Abib, Abdullah, Ben Ibrahim, Bonsu, Abib hooked us up with our first record deal, and that's where we met JQ and had record label, I mean, record um, label mates like Nkase, mm-hmm. Atifa Lemid, Echo Shiloh, yeah. and uh, Monax. Yeah. Um, Jerry, I believe Jerry's in town too. A couple of us came down for the year of return. Yeah. You know, so um, it was like a family. From mm-hmm. there, JQ put us on. Combined House of Music, that's where everything happened. Mm-hmm. We started releasing bangers yeah. upon bangers because there was only a few of us. And okay. Along, around that time, it was just a few singers, yeah. I'd say. Mm-hmm. And I was one of the people's the best, favorites right? back then. That's so good, that's good. We took advantage so of let's, that. So let's hit the Comic Akina song. Mm-hmm. You said you were down at your mommy's place, right? Yeah. That's we, where the inspiration Kukumimle, came out. Yeah. Right? Kukumimle is and, where uh, everything started. You guys recorded your first single, mm-hmm. um, the Comic Akina. That was with GQ, right? Yeah. Yes. And then, uh, who shot the video at the time? Ken Lu. Ken Lu. Ken Lu, yeah. Ken okay. Lu shot the video. Okay. Um, Lu Visions. You know what I mean? Lu mm-hmm. had his thing, and um, we went out, gathered a couple of brothers. Um, I remember Bush K was in there. We were yeah. fan back in the day. But what really inspired the video? The video, I mean... We wanted, uh, we wanted to keep it hip we wanted to bring the streets to the mm. people so we had all the gear we had everything we were we were inspired by the western culture it, it was hip-hop it's real hip-hop the back then you know naughty by nature i want to play your comic account for your fans out there those current generation i know they don't know much about the song but today yeah let's just that's show fine. them the journey you know that's fine yeah that's what's that's up fine. that's fine <laughs> Let's okay, say, guys, right. you know, right? I'm here with Prince Paco, Prince Bright, Book Bag, uh, Kobe himself. You know how we do, right? Okay, so if you've not seen uh, Comic Akena, if you've never seen Comic Akena, that's their first ever single. And trust me, at the time, it was one of the best single ever. Trust me. Let's take a look at the video. When we come back, we're still chit chatting. We'll be right back. Charlie, can you give me some freestyle? Eh? I, I, I want to know if that voice at the time is still the same voice it's, you got. It's it. still the same. Uh-huh. Um, I always say I'm blessed, I'm grateful to still have this voice, and I took care of it, so I still got it. Still the same. Simoncomica I? Oh, I got fried rice, but Sunday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, That's what's up, man. Voice. That's what's up. I had, uh, what's his name? Um, Dead Buddy here. Mm-hmm. And then he was talking about back in the days, if you don't have a producer, 
You can't That's do it. it. You can't do nothing. You can't because um, it took money to push everything. Every, yeah. Every um, product you had coming mm. out. Um, we were blessed to have my classmates step out for us. You know. Yeah. Abib Abib, really, right? he, he know, a big Right. He did all the videos and uh, he paid for everything. Made sure we were fed right. Made sure. Wait, we were had you signed to under his record label? Yeah, we were. We oh, were okay. signed onto Abib Records. Okay. Like, okay. It's one of the best record labels we've had. Um, okay. In, in one of the years. best. We we've, we've always had best producers, yeah, best record labels. I remember yeah. you guys were working with Ajikot, was it? Yes. Ajikot? And see, I said one of the best. Ajikot is one of Ajikot. I would say is the best thing that ever happened to us because Ajikot decided to take it and not to the uh, next level. You know what I'm saying? And we came out with like <laughs> one of the hottest videos in Ghana, which actually revolutionized. Yeah. What the videos are looking like now. Yeah. Going yeah. to barracks. Yes, going to barracks. I remember some helicopter stuff, man. Tell you, that that was a hard video. And um, I believe that inspired a lot of the new stuff you see on TV now. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, after uh, Comic Kekina, what happened next to Book Back? Okay. We went back to the studio with JQ and recorded um, Chingalingi. Okay. And, um, Ronnie was like, I told you, yeah. this is you, this is talent, don't play with it. So now I was like, okay, we're back in the game again, everything's working out. Ajikot put us on. So now we're seeing money. Yeah. Ajikot bought us our first cars, um, hooked up, um, I mean, we got some few things out of that. And then it got to a point we had to get in the studio again and record something else. And when we came with Gonja Box, in the beginning, it was a... F it was fluctuating, like mm. it, was, it was okay, it was not. And then we had that conflict with um, Konkon Tiba. Yeah. Because the baseline was similar. Okay. Later we find out, okay, we found out a song actually inspired that song. Oh. And they released it at the same time. So it was like, okay, we had that conflict. Mm -hmm. And that was more upbeat. So we had that, even though it was strong, it mm -hmm. wasn't, it didn't have that presence. Okay. You know what I mean? So through that, we decided, okay, let's shoot this video and make it crazy. And okay. that's when you really realize the level going to the barracks just went from here to like <laughs> boom. Sure. Yeah. So Ajiko was happy then, and we were all happy because we every song we released then, Go to Barracks was one of the songs that we struggled a bit because of the conflict with the other song yeah. to push it to the because one book back drops a song. Within a week or two, it's all over the place. Yeah. So now it's like we got like a week, we got a two, we got two weeks, three weeks. Now we got to do something. Then we pushed it to the extreme. By the end of the month, we're all over the place, and we had like two bangers in Ghana, Konkutiba and Gondabak. So it was quite tough, but we made it through. Wow. Yeah, man. That's a long journey. Babe. Yes, yes, yes. We we've been through some crazy yeah, times. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, man. Okay, so. Um, but Ronnie, blessed memory. Mm -hmm. um, book back. Why aren't you using the name book back? But you decided to change the name from Prince uh, from book back to Prince Bright. Is it because you're going as a solo artist? Or and I also heard you and Promzy wanted to do something BP back in the days in the states. I mean, what also happened to that? Okay, so finding myself in the process of losing my brother was one tough decision for me to either go solo mm. or do a project with my brother Promzy. Mm. Um, we started off, everything worked out, we had our thing going, but then it got to a point, as grown folks, we were like, okay, let's hold this, breathe a little bit and decide if we really want to go with this. You know yeah. what I mean? So I took a step back, decided to do other things on the side, and then I was still in that state where I wasn't sure whether I really want to get back to music or not. Because there was wow. too much road bumps. Like, yeah. I get in the studio, I get emotional. I had a setup in my house. Like, yeah. a little quiet area, I could really breathe and put my vocals okay. out. That's you know in the mean? States, right? Yeah, in, in New York. Okay. So, it took JQ to take me out of my depression. Mm. He introduced me to Lee. You know what I mean? And thank God for my wife. I really appreciate her for holding me down. My okay. kids too, because you know what I mean? Whenever I'm down, you know, yeah, they, they, they gave me that family support. And um, my mom, most definitely for praying for me. My my boys, you know what I mean? Angel. Angel is, you can do it. It's going to happen. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> Cowboy man. 
yeah. you know, that shit great about what you mean. Me. You know what I mean? I got people telling me you yeah, can do it. I choco, bro, you got this, you know yeah. what I mean? And all these guys inspired me. I see all these people around me telling me you can do it. Forex 4, Captain Planet, Cody, yeah. bro, come home, come do yeah. something. So when JQ introduced me to Lee, that's of all world entertainment in Atlanta, in, um, in Atlanta. Mm. went out there, vibe with them, Boss B started something crazy. I had like an hour to leave for the airport. Okay. And he dropped this beat, small thing. Okay. So we did that. And then after that, we did another thing. So I didn't finish that record. Yeah. I left back to New York. I was like, whoa, dude, I'm feeling this new joint. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we started Afro, Afro pop. Yeah, Afro pop, yeah. And then it transitioned into Afro, Afro beat. beat yeah. So I'm like, okay. Um, I can get used to this, yeah. you know what I mean? And then, that being good, I decided I wasn't gonna rap no more. You know what I mean? It wasn't like I wasn't inspired, but I felt I had a lot to get through my vocal abilities, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I decided to just go with that. And with all the inspiration around me, mm. I couldn't go wrong. My boss was one of my biggest fans of all yeah. time. Elite, you know what I mean? Early, you know, Young Ghana. All these guys back there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I had like an army of support behind me. True. So, even when I was struggling getting back, they were like, dude, you could do it. Just yeah. keep it going. We dropped small things. I was hanging down for a little bit. They were like, okay, it's probably because you don't live here no more. They'll get used to you. Yeah. I'm like, okay, don't worry about it. We got it. So, I was getting worried that, oh, he's not making the money he was supposed to make because, you know, he put in a lot of money. Yeah. My boy Phil Banger really put in a lot of, a lot of money, yeah. you know, to make sure that I secure my grounds out here, too. But you know what I mean? I had to get back to the States again and, you know what I mean, take care of business. Sure. And then I came back in summer to release Come to Daddy. So with all that, I was trying to find my grounds and my rhythm. Mm. I decided to scratch everything and go back to the States again. Wow. So now, prior to leaving to the States, I met with Sock. Okay, Sock. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, yo, King, what's good? What you got going? He's like, yo, come home, let's vibe. Yeah. That's where everything started. Okay. Now I could hear the kind of beats I want to hear, yeah. the kind of vibe I want to vibe with. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he put me on one of the joints. You guys met in New York? Here. Oh, here. Yeah, we actually, gone. yeah. Prior okay. to just like a couple of, couple of days um, before leaving town. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So knocked a couple of joints. And I was like, okay, this will work. Yeah. I sent it to my boss. He's like, okay, this is it. I'm like, boss, slow down. This is his record. <laughs> <laughs> that's his. It's like, no way. I'm like, yeah. But yeah. Okay, can you get him on the record? I'm like, that's the whole point. Yeah. You know what I mean, so Sack was really nice. You know what I mean, he's a gentleman, man. I like that dude. Yeah. Um, he put me on. I went to the States, hit him up. I'm like, bro, I got something. He's like, I'm ready for you. He brought back the record. And I'm like, holy Moses. <laughs> he took this song from like here to the next. I'm like, how am I gonna meet this up? Like, how yeah. am I really gonna compensate the level at which the straight. song is right now? So I decided, okay, I was gonna switch some few things over and make it. Then he was in um, New York. Yeah. And then off to Atlanta. That's where my record label is based. Okay. And I mean, they don't want to be called a record label. They want to be my family. Like family and, still. Yeah. So that's where my family is at. Um, we went, Sakura came to get that um, BET award. Yeah. You know what I mean? The best um, international act, yeah. which he won. So um, the night of the party, I was shooting my video. Straight from the party, he jumped straight to the set and shot my video. Oh, yeah? And went back. Next minute, he won. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was quite memorable straight, for me straight, that he really straight, won. Straight. And I was... I was inspired that you know I have somebody mm. that big on my record. Yeah, you know what I mean? Sock is all over the place. Right? Right, I mean, right. Shout out to all the Sock Nation oh. and um, the King himself. <laughs> you know what I mean, you know, God being good, you yeah. know what happened after let, that. Let me let me play the the song for the fans out there to see. Yeah, exactly. that's the old feature, right? That's right. All right, okay, guys. Prince Buckle, Prince Bright, <laughs> look back. Okay, so let's take a look at his new song. Okay, that's Sakodia's song, right? Okay, all right. Let's take a look at Official Sakodia featuring Prince Bright. When we come back, his top five music videos. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so welcome back. That was Sako there featuring Prince Bright. Ofechon. Prince, the song, was it you who wrote the chorus? Or it was uh, Sako there who brought the idea? Or, I mean, how did it all start? You know, Sak doesn't speak gun. Yeah. So, <laughs> we complement each other. Mm. He's one of the baddest lyricists of yeah. all time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? True. Nobody can discredit that. Yeah, it's yeah. a fact. You know what I mean? And to have me on the record with mm -hmm. him, I felt I had to go all out. You know what I mean? So, the song was inspired by what was happening in the studio and the vibe that he gave me. He was open to me, you know what yeah. I mean? So it was like feeling really free to be myself. And I wanted to do something book back. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. I stuck to the gun theme mm. and the struggles I went through to get to him. Okay. From coming back into the industry, the reception from some of the brothers, mm. the backlash from some people I've dealt with before. Mm. So within me, I was like, okay, this is it. They say, you know, go feed do. Mm. Now you do them shock. Yeah. <laughs> so cafe can paint. Cafe Don't be jealous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but everybody knows I have this funny way of putting words yeah, together. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, So yeah, so instead yeah. of saying skin pain, yeah, I go the gown <laughs> way and be like seeking pain. pain. You know, what I mean? like, <laughs> it represents the struggle that I went through trying yeah. to get back on my feet in the industry. Yeah. One, it, you know, what I mean? you were not in the video. Yeah, because I was what? in New York then. Okay. You know I mean? And okay. you know, Sock works with time. Exactly. So we threw, we had a conversation on the phone. It's like, big bro, I really want to shoot this thing. I, I was thinking of going the viral video. I have okay. a show coming. I wanted to use the yeah, like, yo, picture. Yeah. Come on, man, do it. Let's straight, do it. See straight. what I'm saying? I was in full. I was Support. aware of what was going on. Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I apologize for who. Yeah. ever didn't get to see me in there but the yeah. whole point was to create an ambience of you know okay. celebration people happy about the new mm. movement that was, that's more important to me than everything and okay. for him to be able to pull that off I applaud him for that well it's one of the best videos I've, I've watched so far it was like a movement you know what yeah. I mean yeah it's like an uprising and that complements my EP you okay. know what I'm saying? 11 11, the awakening. So it's an awakening for me, okay. you know what I mean, to bring my new self out there as Prince Bright. So you will say Ofei Chong has brought you back into the limelight? I believe so. I believe so because. You're legendary it's, before. I, I. See, one thing about me being so receptive about this legendary status thing is I am. It's okay. It's just a title, but mm. we still stay down to earth and work harder because yeah. you know these young ones are sharp yeah you know what i mean so i wouldn't <laughs> let that get into my head okay. i know he was legendary so no no legendary don't really matter to me mm. no. all right so let's go straight into your top five videos yes then, yes yes yeah i'll pick it up from there definitely top five yeah. i'll go for number five my my son favorite of all time yeah the day by creamy the day yeah man wow creamy creamy, creamy got that silky voice it's just man. like you right? um, listen first time we got on the phone yeah we got emotional you know what really because i could feel my energy connecting to him he yeah. could feel you know like, what I'm saying? like we prayed we vibed so creamy is my son like that's like my that. boy right there yeah, yeah i don't play with <laughs> creamy straight, like that straight, yeah, straight. Yeah. 
Okay guys, let's take a look at Creamy the Day. We'll be right back. So, number four. Yes, yeah, so my number four is my brother himself. Yeah. The general, I call him. Yeah. King Samini. Samini. Oh, bra. I relate, I can, I can really relate to the lyrics, the mm -hmm. contents of this song, because, you know, this is talking about life. Yeah. You know, life is a struggle, Straight. you know what I'm saying? And I really love the song mm -hmm. from the heart. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, let's take a look at Samini Obra. We'll be right back. So that was Samini Obra. Beautiful song, man. Samini is also a general for this long. Let's take a look at the, your number three. Well, number three will be from myself, Prince Bright, Small Thing. Yeah, that you shot it in Ghana? I shot that in Atlanta on my first, um, after the first recording. Okay. And a um, couple of months later, I actually dropped it before coming to Ghana. Let's take a look at Prince Bright, Small Things. We'll be right back. Okay, small things you do makes me uh, makes me do a lot of things, man. I mean, Prince Bright, you're doing a good job. Appreciate I really it. appreciate what you've been doing for the industry. Thank you. I respect you a lot. Thank you. We I'm need to grateful. honor you, man. I'm grateful. Hey, stretch, 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 I'm honored stretch, to be stretch. in your seat. You know what I'm saying? Man, this is this, this is crazy, an amazing show. I'm and honored I'm, to have you because. You know, you don't want to have the name legendary, nah. but trust me, man, it's you're okay. a legend to me, man. Prince Bright is just. Fine. I've known you for years. I know. <laughs> for years. I know. <laughs> you I know. know. Yeah, and we've man. been fam for years, for but I mean, man. having you here, yeah, just one big respect, man. I love that. Trust man. me, I appreciate man. that. I All really right, so that. number two, number two, number two, number two. I don't want to be selfish, but I love this record because this record actually um, was inspired by um, my boss himself. You know what I mean? Um, I call him the boss fleet. You know what okay. I mean? He always says, listen, be you, be yourself. No pressure. Get in the studio and do what you want. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I decided to fuse a little gown with Afrobeat okay. and um, create a wedding song. That was the whole concept behind it. So it was more of a love song mm. and inspiring um, anybody out there who wants to get, you know, Married or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean, show <laughs> some love to your man. Call him daddy. You know what I mean? So when daddy calls you, make sure you're ready. Yeah, set to and deliver. Go. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, that's what inspired the whole idea of okay. um, the song Come to Daddy. So number two will be my oh. very own song, Prince Bright, Come to Daddy. Oh. Yes, okay. Sir. All right. Prince Bright, Come to Daddy. We'll be right back. Mama, la, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. My job was, baby. Prince, it's right, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got some 
Okay, so welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Up Close, all your Max TV, sports, entertainment, and more. And I'm here straight with my big bro, Prince Paco, Prince Bright, Book Back, Kobe himself. Yeah? A whole lot of accolades, <laughs> you man. You do all, bro. You do all, bro. God is the greatest, I, man. I mean, you God see, is this, the greatest. This, the, the songs that I just heard, um, The Small Thing, mm -hmm. and then uh, Come to Daddy, and the other ones coming up. I mean, I can see you're still working so hard. I am. Just want to be like right. the coming, the upcoming guys, like the Kitty, the Kwame Eugene, even yeah. though you are legendary. Yes, <laughs> see, those, those names are sharp names. I keep telling you, um, these guys are really working hard and mm. I love the energy they put in into the industry. Yeah. And for the fact that they've sustained the industry this long for me to be able to come back mm -hmm. and enjoy the fruits, I'm really grateful. Shout out to Kwame Eugene Kitty, Kim Promise Creamy. Yeah. You know what I mean? These Straight. are singers, you know what I mean? When these guys grab the mic as a rap, you know you're really going to enjoy some good, you know, yeah. vocal delivery. So I'm really grateful um, to be amongst the greatest. Yeah. <laughs> God is the greatest. God yeah. is the greatest. Yeah. All right. So your number one? Yes. My number one will be my own Wish featuring Sakodia. Oh. Yes. Wish. That's your new Wish, song, Wish. That's right? my new joint. You we know shot I mean? the video? Yeah. We shot the video in Atlanta. Okay. Um, you and Sakodia? Same Scott? night. Exactly. And, um... Somebody asked me, why do you like putting in all this sports cars in there? I love sports cars. Yeah. So even if I don't get it or pay for it or buy it, I don't waste money late, lately. You know yeah. what I mean? Back in the day, I'm all flashy. You know what I mean? Straight. BMW was here and there, but I don't waste money no more. If I want to do it, I just grab it, put it in the video. It's a wrap. You know what I mean? So we use the slingshot and come to daddy, and we use the... Um, the BMW, the yellow one. Yeah, I like. I, I call it the Flybird. Yeah, you know what I mean, um, <laughs> one. It's, it was one of the most amazing things my balls pulled out. You know what I'm saying? It was a surprise to me. I didn't really know how the concept was going to work out. Yeah, I mean, he pulled that. I was like, okay, this is you for today. I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so great. I'm really grateful for mm -hmm. everything that Best of All World Entertainment um, put together for me to have that beautiful video shot. Yeah. My boy, um, shot by Reginald. Follow him okay. on Instagram. He's an amazing video director. All right. um, there's going to be more videos coming up. But in the meantime, you know, enjoy the number one video of the moment. Wish by Prince Bright. Enjoy. We'll be right back. Yeah. You know they like money, you they like go oh, hear me. Yeah. 
Exactly where they want us now. Do me the honors and friend me phones at home. My team beside me say, Baby, what really came upon us? Cause for the longest, I make catch us a baby can't. Then I'm couple hot as Rebecca wonders. You fell in love with a fake hype. Hope a lavish lifestyle, slay queen moves, boss chick. You just were experience what it tastes like. Me, I could deal with it back and forth. Now, so me pelt it. Who didn't cross them out, but I hate life. 7,000 Instagram followers who pussy traffic at two up a seven minutes, 48 likes. Put the first class. I hope we have a safe flight. Me, me, I feel back. Okay, so Prince Bright, Wish, beautiful song, man. If you see the video, you see the Lambo, you see the swag, you should know we are back. We are about to take over, man. <laughs> okay, so we're in the next section where, you know, I already know, right? Prince Bright, he picks up his question, he answers it, and then we pick it up from there. So Prince Bright, we have a small bowl in here. Uh, question and then you can answer them yourself. It's two things. You see that? I pick it up and read it for you or you read it yourself Okay, all right, let's go. How about pick it and you oh, can read it. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay Okay, how would someone get your special attention? Um, Just say hello That's oh, all really? it is. Just say hello special attention. That's all it is. Really? Just say hello. Special it, attention. Everything, everything amazing starts with a conversation. It's just like you want something from God and you go down on your knees. The minute you say, dear God, heaven's open. It, it doesn't take much to get my attention. All you know right. I mean? If, of course, if it's going to get intimate, we have, you know. Yeah. Just, you know, yeah. So let's go. We're going five. Oh, more? Yeah. Okay. Let me read this one. Okay. Are you single? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I got a wife. I got three kids. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm nice to talk to, so I don't think it hurts. Say hello <laughs> when you see me out there. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Okay. Pick and five. Now we need two. Five. Mm -hmm. What sports do you enjoy watching? Ah, I like. I like anything driving, anything fast, mm -hmm. like, you know. Anything with cars. Yeah. I used to love basketball, but now it's it gets boring sometimes. You really? know, when your Don't team you think is it's age. Win. It's not necessarily age because I'm still I'm still pretty active yeah. when it comes to. <laughs> I hit the gym once in a while. You know, I'm trying to lose a little weight now, mm. so I can be much flexible. You know I me, mean? and I think I'm doing great with that. Um, I love anything with cars. Okay. You know what I mean? Anything hardcore racing? Yes, I love that. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Two more to go. There we go. Okay, okay. We shuffle. Yeah, we shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what do we have here? What is one message you would give to your fans? Okay, stay humble. Anything you wish to achieve is possible. Always remember God is the greatest. Get on your knees and pray, and everything you need shall come to pass. Believe in God. God is the greatest. Thank you. So we have one more to yeah, go. Yeah, one more to go. Okay, we, let's pick the longest sheet. I think this is the <laughs> longest one. Oh, it's the longest one with the shortest one. Okay. Are you good at accents? Allah wallahi, me are very good at accents. Kassani, <laughs> yeah, me are very good at accent. Accent, yeah, 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 I mean, because I'm a new genuine accent. Accent to me. Me to me, Kassati, say American, me to me, Kassati, say Jamaican. 
<laughs> but I go and down now, I'm dire still, down now. Crazy, you know. You know, because I live with North Jamaica and them down the Mount Vernon and things. Okay, me, so. my friend, I don't know, but if you can speak the Cantal language I am speaking, it no, will be my different. Brother, right? My brother, you are acting like you are from Dubai. No, man, I am from India, you, you know. No, you sell gut? Yes, I, I sell everything, you know, my friend. Curry gut is my favorite every time. Oh, really, my yes, brother? Yes, my friend. Oh, you're make me happy today. Me too, I'm very, very happy. happy. Very nice to meet you. Very happy. happy. Very nice to meet you, my friend. You're my friend. Yo, same, bro. Alhamdulillah, my brother. Straight, my friend. Yes. <laughs> Yo, <I'm> bro. Crazy. <laughs>